Well, eat, drink, and be merry, friends, because tomorrow AI will take over the world and take all of our jobs. To that, I will drink some espresso, and we'll get started with this video, which is gonna be about how to actually use AI, and particularly chat GPT, to make a little bit of money before everything ends. Mm. So let's talk about chat GPT. You've probably heard about it. It's taken the world by storm and only recently, like in the last week or so, I finally dived into it. And I'm telling you, it is different than anything that I've ever seen. I've seen a lot of technology come and I've seen a lot of technology go and I've seen some things that promise to be amazing and revolutionary just kind of fall flat. And then I've seen other things just kind of be amazing and change our lives for the better. Like for example, all of us are holding the world's known information in our hands at all times and in our pockets. Something has happened with ChatGPT where I think, my prediction is, it's gonna change everything. This is going to be something that sets into motion what's already been happening for a long time with AI but it's now accessible to the public. Now, if you don't know what ChatGPT is, you can sign in using chat.openai.com. If you go there, you can find a way to log in, set up an account, it's very easy. But basically, it's a way to chat with a bot, which if you're thinking a bot is, typically it doesn't seem human, it misses a lot, this is different. You can ask it questions, and it will answer those questions in written form and it actually gives you well thought out, incredibly seemingly human, it's like nothing I've ever seen before. So I wanna talk about how this can be used to make what we do as online business owners that much more effective. I think we can actually get a whole lot more productivity out of ourselves if we utilize AI and particularly chat GPT really well. Now, I'm gonna give you a few ways that I think this is worth looking into and a few ways that I think it'll make online business that much easier and quicker for us to produce. And I'm gonna demonstrate what I'm talking about, but particularly, I think it's gonna be really helpful in two areas. One is in content creation. That's everything from video scripts to video ideas to blog post ideas, to everything in between. Content creation, ChatGPT is going to really help with that. And the second way is with sales copy, or really any type of copywriting. We're gonna dive into what it looks like and how it works. I'm gonna demonstrate what all this looks like. Before we dive into that, I wanna mention that there are two ways that people typically respond to AI and typically have responded to ChatGPT. One is, to write it off as a big nothing burger. This is the idea that, that people just say, ah, you know, it seems goofy, it seems like it's, a, it's gonna come and go, it, it, there's nothing to it. And so it's, there's a tendency to kind of ignore it and laugh it off. I don't think that's helpful. And I don't think it's helpful because AI is here to stay and this is amazing, but it's really just the beginning. That they're, they're, they're not showing us everything that even it can do, and this is going to change the world as we know it. It's gonna change work as we know it. So the tendency to ignore it, I don't think is helpful. The second tendency that a lot of people have is to fear it. This is the idea that, oh my gosh, this is an innovation that's gonna put me out of business. If it, if it can do copywriting better than a human, then how, how am I gonna do copywriting? If it can eventually do graphic design, you know, some form of AI can do graphic design better than a human, then what am I gonna do? Here's the thing, some of that might be true, that this is going to replace a lot of jobs. And typically, when people think about AI replacing jobs, a lot of times their mind goes to, okay, self-checkout, for example. Like, that's not necessarily AI, but it's machines taking over jobs. And so when we think about robots taking over jobs, we think about low-level labor-type jobs where instead of walking up to a human and giving your order, you might as well punch it into a kiosk. Instead of a person walking around and taking inventory, a robot can easily do that. You don't have the cost of a human. It's easy to see how a robot or AI can easily replace a human. But what we're seeing now is that higher level jobs, professional jobs that typically have required human skill and specialized knowledge can easily be replaced with AI. 
So there's a tendency to fear it and go, oh my gosh, this is gonna change everything. And I think it will and I think it can, but it doesn't have to be something that is just completely detrimental to you, to your career, especially if you get out ahead of it and especially if you are willing to make it work for you. So that's why in this video, I wanna show you how this thing works for online business and ways that it can actually speed up your productivity so that you're not looking at it as something to fear or something to ignore, but maybe something to use. Now, I do wanna issue one major caveat, and this is really going to be crucial going into this. I'm gonna show you all kinds of ways that ChatGPT can produce content for you. However, if you ask ChatGPT, which I did, can you use ChatGPT's answers as blog posts, as videos, as sales copy, it's gonna tell you no. It's gonna say that it's only for personal use. So what that means is that you can use this to generate ideas, but you need to make it your own. You cannot just straight copy it. You've got to maybe use it as a idea sparking mechanism, but then you've got to edit it and make it your own after that. So after issuing that caveat, let's dive in. How does this work in real life? What does ChatGPT do? Well, let's take a look at it. We're here on the website. And when you log in, it's going gonna, it's gonna to have this bar down at the bottom where you can ask questions. The first question I'm going to ask is related to sales copy. Now, I'm going to use my business as an example. I have a business called Preaching Donkey. It's an online business. And I do content and I do courses and I do all this kind of stuff. So one of my courses is called Killer Sermons Academy. And for that course, I have a sales page. And that sales page required a ton of writing for me. In fact, I'll show you what the sales page looks like. So here is the sales page, right? So it follows a basic long format sales page where it's a nine step copywriting formula. And this is something that took me a long time to write that eventually reveals the product, does a little bit of the things that you have to do in copywriting to make things, um, to, to show the value, the bonuses, a little bit of price anchoring, uh, a risk transfer, future casting, it does all of that, okay? So this took me literally weeks to make this, to make it work, to test it, to do all the things that you need to do to make copywriting work. So. Let's see what ChatGPT can come up with. So let's say I go, can you write a sales page for a, com uh, if I can spell comprehensive <laughs> preaching core, I hate typing in front of people and I'm typing in front of the literally tens of people that will see this preaching course called Killer Sermons Academy. Okay. So let's see what it comes up with. So it, what it's gonna do is it's literally going to just write right here a bit of sales copy. So are you tired of giving lackluster sermons that fail to connect with your congregation? Do you struggle to find inspiration and structure for your message? Look no further because Killer Sermons Academy is here to help. That's actually not bad sales copy. Our comprehensive course is designed to take your preaching to the next level and help you create that in sermons that engage, inspire, and challenge your listeners. This is the kind of language that I use in my sales copy. Access to a community of like-minded pastors, uh, detailed video lessons, workshops and Q&As, personalized feedback. Our course is suitable to preachers of all levels. Okay, this is a sample and may require additional refinement to tailor your specific goals and needs. Okay, that say, says that. So now that's kind of the, 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 the draw up of their sales copy. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, uh, can you uh, rewrite uh, rewrite this and make it funnier? Okay, so now what it's gonna do is it's gonna give me a little bit of personality. It's tired of boring your congregation to sleep with your sermons, struggling to come up with something that's not just been there, done that. Look no further because Killer Sermons Academy is here to shake things up. This is kind of a cool thing. I mean, we're watching in real time. Chat GPT is just getting me started with some sales copy. Now, whether I would like use this or not is really besides the point. This is an amazing tool to kind of get this thing going. So imagine if you have a course and you're looking to 
write the sales copy for the course and you go into chat GPT and you just give it an idea and it runs with it. So it's going to like do this, okay? And it's it's still going. Now, now I'm gonna say, can you uh, re, uh, rewrite using the nine step uh, copywriting formula? Let's just see if it knows what that is and can do it. It's taking a second. Okay, so here's a rewritten version of the sales copy using the formula. Okay, so this it did this to me last time where it's giving step one, step two. So what I would do is I would go in there and like ask it to take out the steps, to add headers. And for the sake of time, I'm not gonna do all that, but I hope you can see like it's doing all, it's doing all the things. Like it's, it's making like a sales page for me. Now, let's start a new chat and I want to kind of go into another section where let's talk about this. Let's talk about content creation. So let's say that I, in my online business, and you can apply this to whatever niche you're in. If you're in, uh, if you teach gardening, if you do, if you teach dog training, if you teach copywriting, for example, you can do this in any niche, but let's just take preaching, for example. So I'm gonna say, give me 10 video ideas for how to preach better sermons that would rank well on YouTube. Here we go. <laughs> Number one, how to write a sermon. Number two, effective storytelling. Step three, using visuals and technology. So you can imagine as a content creator, I don't know how many times like I have sat there just pounding my head against the desk going, what am I gonna make a video about? And actually I have a very, very extensive process to plan out my content. It takes me days, I get a hotel, it's a whole thing. I have a video all about it. Well, this is a t massive time saver because as I'm looking through this, okay, uh, how to write a sermon, a step-by-step -step guide for pastors, that would be a great video. Effective storytelling techniques for preaching. Again, that would be a great video. Delivering powerful, memorable sermons, tip from experienced pastors. Again, the power of personal anecdotes in preaching. So now let's say that I really like this, but I want a little bit more of an outline. I want this chat GPT to help me out a little bit more. So let's say that I go to number two. So take number two and write a video script for it. Okay, so it's going to open shot of a church with a pastor standing in front of a lectern holding a microphone, a narrator. Welcome to this video on effective storytelling techniques for preaching. Whether you're a seasoned preacher or just starting out. So it's making a script for a video that I can like I could use. I mean, this is giving me ideas. Like, okay, that would be cool. Welcome to this video. Stories can be a way to make abstract concepts more concrete. Now, let's say that if you're if you do this more in the style of of what I do, where I don't necessarily work from a script and do a whole lot of fancy stuff, I do mostly face to camera, I might ask it to give me a blog post on that topic, and then I would use the blog post to make a video about it and then use the blog post on my website. Now this is all assuming that I can use it, which I mentioned that you can't, so I can't just take this and copy and paste it to my site, which to be honest, wouldn't be ethical in my opinion anyway, because it's not me that's doing it, this thing is writing it, but I can sure as heck use it as an idea generator and what this is doing is this is doing the type of research that typically takes me hours and hours to do. Because typically what I would do is I might go to YouTube and see what other people have done videos about that have ranked well on YouTube. And then I would formulate a list of 10 things and then make uh, outlines of it. Well, it's just taking all of that data that I would search YouTube myself and it's materializing it in 10 seconds. And then it's taking what would take me maybe a couple, you know, 30 minutes to make an outline and it's doing it in 10 minutes. Now, there are implications with this because if you think about it, what this is doing is it's making it so that content creation is becoming completely computerized, completely uh, automated. There are some implications there. I think the power of it is going to be unbelievable to watch. I don't know where this is going to land, but I know for right now, for those of us who are in online business, you can do some pretty amazing things with sales copy 
and with content creation. Now, just for fun, let's actually ask ChatGPT how you can use ChatGPT for online business. Write, so let's go down here, write a blog post about 10, uh, let's say, let's say four ways, four ways you can use chat GPT to grow, uh, chat GPT in your online business. Let's see what it says. Hey, Future Lane here. While that is generating an answer, I want to tell you about how I, not a robot, but me, can help you with your online business. I have a free resource for you. It's at lanesebring.com slash super simple. It's my super simple guide to your first $500 online. It is a step-by-step -step process that will walk you through how to create your online business and make your first 500 bucks. It's totally free, just my way of saying thank you for checking out this video, and it's yours at Lane Sebring, that's my name, lanesebring.com slash super simple. See there, can't wait to get that in your hands. Now back to the chat GPT thing where we're learning how the world is gonna end. Chatbots are becoming increasingly popular in the world of online business. They are an effective way to interact with customers, provide support. I didn't even talk about that. If you think about it, uh, interact with customers, providing support, automate repetitive tasks. So here we go, customer service. Uh, chat GPT-3 can be used to create a chatbot that can answer customer questions. That, that already happens. But the, the difference here is that eventually this will get to the point where that chatbot is preferable to talking to a human because it can draw from basically all available knowledge instead of just one person's. So let's see, customer service, content generation. So we talked about that. Social media channels, blog, you can save time and money. Additionally, uh, can increase relevance and quality of your online presence. Email marketing. Uh, oh, this is another thing. I didn't even think about this, but in the same way that it can create content, it can create a set of emails. It, it can write, a sales copy can be used on a sales page or an email. It's the same type of thing. So you could say, write me three emails to help sell this product. Automated lead generation can be used to automatically generate leads for your business by analyzing customer data and identifying potential new customers. This can save you time and money. That's amazing. So I wanna hear from you. If you have played around with ChatGPT and you have some ideas about how to make this work for you in terms of online business and in terms of just increasing your productivity so that you can be more effective, make more money, uh, get more done. I wanna hear from you. What do you think about this? Are you afraid of it? Have you ignored it somewhere in between? Are you excited about it like I kinda am? I'd love to hear from you. Let me know in the comments below. Check out this playlist on online business so that as you are playing around with ChatGPT, you'll know exactly what to do with what you find in it. So click right there and I'll see you in that playlist.